North Carolina lawmakers are trying for the third time to pass a law that will require sheriffs in the state to federate to cooperate rather with federal immigration officials. And it's part of HB 10. That bill is making its way through the legislature and WRL Shelly Jackson joins us live right now from downtown. So Shelly, walk us a little bit through how this would work. Well, Chris, HB 10 would require sheriffs to honor an ICE detainer. That's a request to keep someone in custody beyond their scheduled release date without a warrant. In 2018, several counties, including Wake, ended their voluntary participation in the federal 278G program, a section of the Immigration and Nationality Act that allows local law enforcement to collaborate with ICE. But now, Republican lawmakers are trying to make that cooperation mandatory. Representative Destin Hall is a sponsor for HB 10. Sanctuary sheriffs are creating an environment where illegal aliens who have been charged with serious crimes in our state are protected from deportation and released back into our communities where they often go on to commit new crimes. The bill would force sheriffs to honor immigration detainers, administrative requests by ICE to keep someone in custody past their release date so federal agents can pick them up. Stephania Arteaga with the Carolina Migrant Network says HB 10 would have a negative impact on the migrant community in North Carolina. When law enforcement collaborate with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, we see um, significant, significant negative side effects to community members. We see a huge distrust between local law enforcement and immigrant communities. Now, HB 10 has been sitting in the Senate Rules Committee since March. Chris? Shelly Jackson reporting live in Raleigh. Thank you, Shelly.